What's the deal with spam and why is there so much of it? In this video, I'm going to show you how to block spam calls on an Android device. I'm going to show you on the Android phone app. I'll show you how to do this using third party apps, show you how to block spam one by one and how to only allow calls to come through through your contacts. And then finally, how to register your number on do not call.gov. So first, using the Google Phone app, you're going to click on the Phone app on your Android phone. This is a Pixel device I'm demoing on here. You click on the three dots on the top right. Click on Settings up there. And within Settings, you'll see, see a few options that are relevant. One is Caller ID on Spam up top. So first, you're going to click on that. Make sure this is turned on. Google does a pretty good job of blocking out spam. It has connections with all sorts of data and lists. So it's viewed as spam, marked by spam by somebody else. It'll recognize it as spam. So it says you can see the caller ID and spam. So once you've done that, then you can go into call screen down there below and you have a few options. So if you want Google to automatically screen your calls, you have maximum, medium, and basic protection on that. So mine's on a medium right now, which means you know screen suspicious calls and decline spam. If you want maximum protection, you can screen unknown numbers and decline spam. I mean, how do they know it's maximum protection? They figure out like what's the one person that could contact you and then just back it off a little from there? I don't know. Good question. Um, basic protection there is just decline any known spam. So a few options. And then you have options to see, you know, save the call screen audio if you want, and then also delete that after 30 days. So if, a, if you're worried that someone's going to get screened that's not spam, your phone will save the audio from there. And if you toggle this button, delete after 30 days, it will be deleted after 30 days. Or you can untoggle that and just make sure you keep it if you want to be safe. If you want to get a third-party app that can block spam and detect spam, there's some free and some paid options from the Google Play Store. We recommend Haya, Mr. Number, True Caller, and Should I Answer? Big U.S. carriers also offer spam services and apps such as AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. If you find yourself getting harassed by spammers on a frequent basis and you notice it's the same number, you can actually go into your phone app and block those numbers individually, one by one. So to do that, you click on your phone app in here, click on Recents, you'll see someone that you might say, hey, this person keeps calling me over and over, I'm just dying. You click on the number there on the contacts and then you'll see it below block numbers. So you can report it as spam or block the number. If you don't want to report it as spam because maybe you know it's a legitimate business but you just don't want to be contacted by them, you can click block or you can click both and just have it reported as spam and blocked. If you block somebody by mistake or decided that, hey, I want to be receiving these telemarketing calls, I actually like it, I could use the company, you can go in there and unblock that number. So to do that, you're going to go into your settings on your phone and you're going to look on the three dots up top, go into your settings there, and you can find blocked numbers down the list. So you can see all the numbers that are blocked. If you're like, hey, this 4076 number, they're okay. I don't mind them calling me during dinner time, interrupting me playing piano, whatever you want to do. You can unblock them, so you just click the X there, and then you can un unblock this number. I'm not going to do that because these are numbers that I all blocked for some reason. But if you want, you could just click unblock and then you'll start receiving spam calls from that person. If you want to make sure nobody contacts you except somebody that you've specifically put in your contacts list, you can use one of these third-party apps. Or if you're on a Pixel phone, you have the option if you click on your phone app, click on the three dots up here, settings, you can click on blocked numbers there and then you can toggle on up top unknown. So it will say block numbers from any unidentified callers right there. So it doesn't mean they'll necessarily be in your contacts, um, but there'll be some, 
They'll be from a list that is unknown, so you'll block that. That'll be even one higher level of filtration on there. But if you want, there's other third-party apps, the ones we've listed here, that are great at blocking unknown numbers or numbers that aren't on your contact list. Finally, the FTC provides a do not call registry, so you can register your phone number there. As you see on this website here, there's an option to register your phone, ver verify your registration, report unwanted calls, etc. That only blocks telemarketers specifically that are probably registered. There's still spammers out there that they're gonna find you somehow. They're gonna change their number. They're gonna use AI, all sorts of tech. So you're gonna wanna use some of these third-party apps or the other so settings on your Android phone. I hope you get less spam calls if you don't want them. If you like them and enjoy them, then you can ignore this video and just receive the spam calls all day long. If this video was helpful for you, give it a like, subscribe to our channel, We'll see you again next time.